Hey guys, so yesterday I travelled to London to check out the Pokemon store. I was invited by Pokemon UK themselves, so I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the invite, because I bought a bunch of stuff, guys. Um, I was going to go anyway, but with the invite, I, I said yes instantly. Um, and I've spent quite a, bit of <laughs> quite a bit of money on the store, specifically the exclusive stuff. Um, which is in the store only, like you've probably been seeing the uh, London themed Pikachu. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you my haul um, and see what you guys think about it, okay? Um, so yeah, I didn't really vlog much. Um, I showed a bit of the store as you guys can see here and inside the store was amazing. Um, downstairs, and they had all the merch and stuff, all the plushies, the exclusive merch, um, shirts, the Pokemon cards, um, mugs. There was massive plushies of Mew and Mimikyu. And so much stuff there. Um, and you've got to remember, guys, this is only a pop-up store. And it closes next month, November 15th, I'm pretty sure. And um, which I'm... Which is the release date of Sword and Shield, which we are doing on the channel, by the way. Um, but yeah, for a pop-up store, guys, they had a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm really hoping that the sales go well at the shop, and maybe Pokemon think, you know what? Uh, this went really well. Let's make a Pokemon store fully in London or somewhere in the UK. That would be amazing. And then it would probably end up like how Tokyo is where, because it's a full store, they can have everything there. And um, because it's a store, it's not a pop-up store. And um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna show, oh, upstairs by the way, and um, was Sword and Shield. Um, and they had TVs, the consoles, the Switch consoles, everything. And I got to play it. That's my first time playing Sword and Shield, guys. I, I did the water gym. And it was really good. The graphics looked amazing. Um, I love the new Pokemon. They gave me a party of the free starters. Um, I can't remember the names and it's embarrassing, I know. Uh, the Big Crow. I think it's like Corv, Corv, Corv Knight or something. Corv Knight or something like that. Um, the little doggo, Yampa, I'm pretty sure he's called. Um, and there was the Wooloo. Wooloo. Um, so, yeah. And the free starters. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got guys, okay, because there's quite a lot to go through um, So yeah, first off, this is the bag by the way, Sword and Shield right here, it is the 15th of November And look at the Pikachu, Pokemon Center London, the Gentleman Pikachu, or Gentlewoman um, It looks, it looks amazing, and they gave me my own little Pikachu plushie uh, For free, I've already bought, I already bought them guys um, I bought one for me and one for my girlfriend and then in, they gave me a goodie bag when I left the store and it's amazing so he's so cute and a match look at him I'm gonna put all my merch on the shelves by the way I'm gonna reorganize it all so he's got a little side up cane nice little top hat and yeah it looks awesome really really cool I've got one spare by the way which is also good because I don't know how rare these are gonna be whether the Gonna sell them at other um, US stores or in Tokyo. Because you know, if the pop up store, when the pop up store closes and if the Pokemon store doesn't open up in the future, these are gonna be pretty rare. Which isn't the purpose, obviously, but you know, I'm just saying. Um, so yeah, Pikachu plushie. In the goodie bag as well, by the way, they gave me my own booster packs, um, which is awesome. I, I opened these, I opened these free with my friend who came with me because he got a goodie bag as well, which was really, really kind of them to do that. Um, I got three packs, guys. I don't know whether these are the new ones. They're called Unified Minds, Unified Minds. So I don't know if these ones are new ones. I like the duos. And um, they've got the cards where they're both together at the same time. Um, oh, wow, I've got a Pokemon Go sticker. Got a Pokemon Go sticker, which is really, really cool. And I have been playing Pokemon Go quite a lot recently which is good and they also gave me one of these pokeballs and i know because i've already bought one that these have three packs of cards in as well we're gonna we're gonna unopen all three of them um well i swear they gave me like another sticker here we go i think it's a poster i think i don't think it's a sticker of the official artwork for the london store so yeah it looks amazing doesn't it 
It looks really cool. And there's Pikachu again. Looks great. So, yeah. All good so far, guys. I think that's it in the goodie bag. Let me double check. Yeah, that's it. So they gave me all those for free, which was really kind of them. Thank you again. Now, this is a sub I bought, guys. One bag here, and another bag here. These are full of stuff, guys. So get ready, prepare your butts, because it's a big haul. I think I spent like 370 pound there. Uh, I wanted to spend more, but I couldn't carry it back, because I, I had to get the train there. And I hate trains sometimes, guys. There were so many delays yesterday. And it was super annoying because I got back at like 10 o'clock at night and I left the house at like 9. So it was a long day. So yeah, it was worth it though. So first off guys, I got a Detective Pikachu plushie. And the cool thing about these, they had Detective Pikachu stuff there guys, is that it's fluffy. And it's cute like Detective Pikachu. You see the fur different compared to the other Pikachu. And I like how they've done that with his little detective hat on. And he's got like um, beans at the bottom of him, so he can stand up properly, like a little bit of weight. So yeah, there you go, he's so cute. Um, so that's the first thing I bought. Um, well, I didn't buy these in order, by the way. I also bought, guys, a little Bulbasaur polka doll. I think Pokemon dolls. They had Squirtle and Charmander there as well, but uh, Bulbasaur's my favourite starter. I love I love all, them, all of the Gen 1s, by the way. But for some reason, Bulbasaur has always been my favourite. Always. Um, if you guys wanted to know my top starters, it's Bulbasaur. Um, it's either Cyndaquil or Totodile. Don't know yet. It's really hard to decide between the two. Mudkip. Um, Gen 4 is Diamond and Pearl. Um, I think it was Turtwig. Turtwig was my first starter I chose on Gen 4. Gen 5 was Oshawa. Gen 6, I'm pretty sure, was um, Froakie. Gen 7 was um, Ow Owlet. Is it Rowlet or Owlet? I keep getting mixed up. I think it's Ow Rowlet or Owlet. The Owl. The grass type Owl. And Gen 8, guys, is going to be Sobble. Okay. Um, it's either going to be Sobble or Grookey. Or it could be Saw Bunny as well. I haven't decided because we haven't seen the the third evolution stage. So who knows? It could change. Um, but yeah, that's my Bulbasaur doll. They also sell. This is one of the exclusives, by the way. Um, but I'm going to show all the exclusives at the end, guys. I think. Oh, speaking of the Gen 8 starters, get ready for this, boys and girls. I got all three of them. So. Here is the Sobble plushie. Look at him, guys. He looks just like me. That's why he's my favourite, guys. <laughs> he's the meaning of life. Uh, but yeah, Sobble. So the water type Pokemon for Sword and Shield. Saw Bunny. I think it's Scor. I keep saying Saw Bunny. It's Score Bunny, guys. I'm sorry if I triggered out anybody there. Score Bunny. I don't know why I thought of Saw Bunny. That's not very fiery, is it? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Score bunny. And uh, all of these guys have got like a little tag and a picture of the Pokemans. So there's Score bunny and Pokemon. And finally, Grookey. Um, he isn't holding his stick, but again, all these plushies are super cute. Um, and yeah, here's Grookey. So yeah, I've got all the free starters. I don't even think I'm going to fit this all on my desk. Um, so yeah, I think that... Oh, I've got this, by the way. I've got like a little notebook. Destinations. It comes with three little books, what you can write down. And I really like writing down ideas for videos or planning videos. So I'm going to use these as planners. Um, so yeah, all three. Um, I have all the destinations, but in different... Um, different things guys if you can see here so these are like badges like stickers and um, art and then like posters of each location e each region and stuff so yeah really really cool um so any more oh yeah oh this is exclusive can't show the exclusives yet i also got guys because like i said i think the main one so far is sobble 
It was either Sobble or Grookey. Um, I got basically a team house of Sobble. Um, so here it is. So there you go. You get a nice little badge of Sobble. Um, the green one is obviously Grookey. So there was a badge of Grookey. And this was like a little bit green, I think. Or the, these these sleeves were green. And I think that these were green. And if it's um, Score Bunny, it was red. Um, but yeah, you get a nice little, um, like, Sobble. If I can show it properly. I'll wear it in a sec, guys. Sobble. There you go. Let's put it on. It's a zipper puddy. And it's super comfy inside. Um, yeah, let's put it on. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Sorry, guys. I've got another hoodie on, so it might look a little bit awkward. There you go. Look how cool it is. I don't think there's anything at the back. No. But pockets. Side pockets. Sobble. I swear I just saw something. The zip. Yeah, they've got a little Pokemon badge there, too. So, yeah. Team Sobble, guys. Team Sobble. And yeah, that's cool. But yeah, like I said, guys, I don't know who I'm going to pick on my Let's Play yet. I don't even know if they're going to show the evolutions until the game's release. Um, okay, guys, here's something else really cool. I got a Pikachu mug, which looks amazing. I like collecting mugs, guys. I, I, if you guys haven't seen my mug, I've just had a cup of tea. Uh, and here's a nice cat mug. Um, so here's what I got for the mug. And it's big. I like big mugs. I like big open mugs. Um, like the one I just showed. So yeah. Here's my Pikachu mug. It's got two sides. Really cool. Doesn't match my jumper. Kind of does. My jumper's mustard. <laughs> By the way, guys, if I speak a bit weird, I've got... Uh, retainers on at the moment, so I apologise. Not really reta retainers, the, the the braces, but I just call them retainers so people understand better. <laughs> um, that's an exclusive. I cannot show that yet. Um, was this an exclusive? I can't remember. I got another mug, guys, but I don't know if it was exclusive or not. It was. Cannot see that yet. Um, yes, you can actually, because I'm done. I'm going to show you all the exclusives I bought. So there was more exclusives, guys. Um, there was an umbrella, but I don't go out much, so I thought, mm, I don't really need it. Um, but yeah, obviously the Pikachu plushie that um, I've already showcased. Here's something really cool, guys. A crest badge. Now, I am going to open this because I am going to use it at some point. I'm not going to... Guys, anything I buy for exclusivity, it's not because I need to, like, sell them on eBay in the future. It's because I like collecting them for me. And I don't think I'd ever sell these in the future, so... Because, you know, it showcases your memories. Like, this is really, really cool. So, there it is. You can see Pikachu there. Like, a really nice crest badge. It's like a house from Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, it's all, I don't think my camera's going to focus so close up. It only focuses on my face. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. And at the back, it's like mini Pikachus. And then there's a Pikachu like rubber pin thing to stick it on. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Um, here's another one. So it's a bottle. That's for, I'm pretty sure it's for, yeah, cold water or cold drinks and hot, wa hot water or hot liquid. Um, and it's yellow, of course, because it's Pikachu. And I am going to use this when I go out traveling and stuff, which is rare. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a nice cool bottle, literally, or a warm bottle. It's got the Pikachu on. It's really nice, really nice yellow. And yeah, I think that's supposed to be his tail at the back. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It might be the, it might be the company's logo. It might be. Um, but yeah, it's cool, isn't it? And it's it's, it's a nice thing to get uh, to keep your drinks cool or your drinks hot. Speaking of drinks, 
Let's show you the mug. So this is the exclusive mug. I think there was another one as well with like the starters on. But yeah, some nice art of Pikachu and you know, Evie at the park. Rain, <laughs> they put rain on guys. Of course you did. Uh, like roses. Um, Mew actually, Mew's there. Didn't see that. Um, of like the red mailboxes that we have in the UK. So yeah, another cool mug. Um, oh, at the bottom as well, guys. It's a little Pikachu again. Is there anything on this one? Yes, there is. So this was exclusive. I don't know. It's got a little, oh, it's got Pikachu at the back. So I did show you an exclusive early. That's a treat. <laughs> also, guys, I had to get this. I love blankets. Like when I'm in the living room, just chilling with the fire on, I need a blanket. And I saw this and I was like, yes, give it to me. So it's a fro and it's an exclusive fro. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show it you. It's got a bunch of cardboard on. Oh, it's so soft. It's got cardboard on to fold, keep it folded. Um, but it looks huge. So let me just try and do this. Go away. Here you go. So yeah. It looks awesome, doesn't it? It's got the same designs on as the mug that i just shown. The rainy clouds, Pikachu, roses, and Mew. Eevee should be here somewhere. Actually, no, he's not. He's not on my... Oh, yeah, he is, he is, he's there. But, yeah, it's super soft, guys. It's super, super soft. Because I'm so tall, I don't... I usually get, like, big blankets. Because I'm really tall, guys. I know you never see it on camera. I'm not tall, tall. I'm just tall. I think I'm six foot two. Um, and I usually get big blankets. I think that's a little bit small for me, but it will work still. I'll still try and make it work. Socks, guys. I saw these and I was like, yep, yeah, give me the socks, please. Thank you. Uh, Pikachu socks. And finally, um, I got a really nice shirt of Pikachu, guys, and it's like a pocket tee. Do you know that this, those designs that you see where it's got a little pocket tee and something's hanging out of it? I really want to get that for my merch. Um, but yeah, it looks awesome, and I will wear the, this on my video. When I do my Sword and Shield playthrough, I'm going to wear this for day one. So yeah, really awesome Pikachu, and I think... Yeah, the rest of him is in there, by the way. Uh, Pokemon Center London at the back, so yeah. This is super, super exclusive. Um, and a little Pokeball on the side. And there's like a little band of yellow on that too. So yeah, it's really, really cute. And I'm happy that I got all this stuff. It was definitely 100% worth it. Because guys, I love Pokemon. Ever since day one, um, I've been playing Pokemon. And... I'm super excited to do it on uh, Nindorko, 100%. I did try and do Sun and Moon, um, but my capture device was being super glitchy and I, it's gone now. So my 3DS capture card died and I it was super expensive to get a new one. So I'm glad that I can finally do an actual game on a console because it was super difficult to record on the 3DS at times. Um, so yeah, uh, finally guys, I am going to open the cards, because you know, I did promise that. So this is an exclusive, guys, so I've got one of these before. Um, let me open it. Don't get any stuck on. Okay, so here's the Pokeball. And I opened it up, and what, oh, it comes with a little, uh, I think that's Tyranitar. Yeah, that's Tyranitar. Awesome. Um, let me pop that there. Okay, so the packs I've got is Steam Siege. These came out in 2016, I'm pretty sure. Uh, a Sun and Moon pack. So these are pretty old. And the original Sun and Moon pack too. So those three ones that I got earlier are the newest ones uh, out of these. I don't think they're the newest new new ones. Um, but yeah, let's open the old ones first. So Sun and Moon, uh, you know the drill, guys. If it's got a... If you didn't know, um, to do with weight issues, they make the this one, it's not rare, 
So this back of the card, guys, if it's white and green, it's a you get a rare. So like an EX, a GX, um, or a um, a shiny. Well, I forgot what you call them. Hollow. Um, so yeah. Let's see what we got. I'm not gonna do these in all like the one, two, three, one. Oh, I can try and do. I can't remember. It's like one, two, three, one, two, and then you put the three behind the two. But they might have changed it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go close up. I got roll it. There you go. Torkoal. This is from Ruby and Sapphire. Zubat. Grubbin. Growlithe. Oh, I like that. Oranguru from Sun and Moon. Little stars at the back. And I got Potion. So yeah, they have changed it, I think. And a Spinder. And a Steeny. And a Bruxish. And a Green Energy. So yeah, I got those completely wrong, I think. They've changed it. So, sorry. Sun and Moon again. Guardians Rising. Um, oh, guys, it's white and green. It's white and green if I can open it. White and green. Um, I'm just going to... I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm just going to do it the way I did. Okay. Mudbray. Sandily. Salandit, sorry. Stuffle. Slowpoke. Wishy Washy Cottony Machoke Is that my rare? No, I don't think it is. I don't know. Altar of the Moon Choice Band Oh, there it is. I've got Minior or Minior Damn, Cosmic Explosion, 190 damage. Jesus But it gets knocked out that's a lot of damage. Water. And there you go. So I was closer to that one than the other one. Um, Steam Siege. These have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Because these are old. I'm pretty sure they do anyway. Fingers crossed. And it's not rare anyway, guys. Rip. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Dino. Or Dino. Hop it. Litwick. Meowth, that's right, Panita, Ninja Boy, wow, the original Fortnite player, uh, Zwylos, or Zwilus, or whatever you want to say it, oh, I've got two of the evolutions in one, Greedy Dice, Drifloon, and my rare is Bastiodon, 150 HP though, damn, that's pretty cool, and there you go. There you go, that was my rare. So one, two, three, one, two worked on that. Time for the best packs, guys. Let's see if we get a rare in any of these. So unfind mines, unified mines. I keep saying unfind. Unfind mines. It's not a rare. Okay, it's not a rare. There you go, it's not a rare. Flachinda. Snova. Murkrow. Execute. Oh, I've got an alone and dry Grimer. That's pretty cool. Pokemaniac, I think my rare's next, guys. Exadrill. Fighting energy. Electric. Electric, sorry. Reset stamp. Heracross. Nice. And you can have this code, guys. There you go. <clears throat> if anybody plays. Pokemon cards online. I used to play it a lot, but I haven't played it in a long time. I didn't get a rare again, so here's your code. There you go. Tynamo. Cubone. Druddygon. I can never say his name. Shroomish. Drifloon again. Scorupy, Scorupy, and our rare is Livani. Livani! I can always remember that from the cartoons. Livani! Uh, Psychic, Hapu, 
Magneton. Sableye. Okay, last card pack, guys. We've got to get a rare. I don't think it's going to be a rare, though. I mean, we can try. I'm scared, though. I don't think it's going to be a rare, boys. But, let's see. It's a rare. It's a rare. It's a rare, guys. I'm not even going to do them in order, but here you go. There's your code. Here we go. You ready? Magmar. Dynamo again. Cosmog. Or Nebby. Salandit. Gibble. Stunfisk. Our rare. It's not. Yeah, it, it is a, a hollow, guys. Our rare is. Terrakion. Nice. Got a boulder crush. That's pretty cool. Fairy. Cherish Ball. Tag switch. Elegem. Uh, 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 so there you go. Nice. Okay. So we didn't get any big cards, but you know, I'm happy. Um, and that's the fun of opening cards anyway. Um, I used to do, I used to buy booster boxes, guys, a long time ago. Uh, and I did videos on them. So if you guys do enjoy me opening packs, just let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, though, of my little haul. It was quite a long video. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And remember, this, if you're from the UK, uh, the store closes 15th of November. So, yeah, if you want to go, it's in London at Shepherd's Bush, Westfield Shopping Centre. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I would do, though, guys, is go there for a day out. Uh, you know, explore London and then go to Westfield. I'm pretty sure it closes at 10 p.m. So, yeah. Uh, spend the day in London and then go to the shopping centre to go to the store. I wouldn't go just to go to the shop, just to go there, unless you're a huge fan. Um, but, yeah. Make a day out of it, okay? So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate the support. I am going to finish Link's Awakening. I have, I've just been waiting for my new PC to arrive um, to get proper capture cards set up so there'll be no issues and so yeah it's put me off a little bit because my old capture card guys uh failed on me and it screwed up a lot of my links awakening footage so uh, but with my new pc hopefully everything will be fine and i'll finish it before luigi's mansion 3 comes out and then we're going to do sword and shield so yeah thanks for watching guys lots of love and i'll see you all next time <laughs>